check the mic and make sure it sound right, boy. Hey, what's going on, everyone? Welcome back to the channel. My name's Will. This is the Women YouTube channel. Now, like I've been saying at the beginning of all of my videos, stop what you're doing right now, scroll down below, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. It's something I really appreciate whenever I get um, a new sub, new comment, new likes on the video. So just go ahead, do that right now. It's totally free. It really helps me out. So for today's video, we're going to be jumping back onto the 2022 Bronco Wild Track back here. Be doing a, another quick little install video, and uh, for this one, we're actually going to be focusing on the interior. So, I'm always a sucker for uh, modifying the interior. I do have some plans possibly switching out the seats or reupholstering them. Also, really want to uh, do a steering wheel mod as well. But for today, we're going to start off with something very simple that anyone can do it's a totally beginner friendly mod and that's going to be installing some trim pieces so as you can see here we got like a um, kind of like a black finish um, bezel that's on the um, center uh, I guess this would be called a center console um, as well as like up here we got a kind of like a little silverish gunmetal kind of trim around the steering wheel and we're gonna be switching all of that out for some carbon fiber so it's a stick-on carbon fiber kit. It's not real carbon fiber, but it looks really good. It's from um, our friends over at Mooseology. I'm gonna go ahead and have their info down below as well as the links for all of these products right here. Um, you can check them out on Instagram as well, see what they're coming out, but they got some really cool stuff for the Bronco, and this is a very simple and inexpensive mod that you could go ahead and throw onto your Bronco. So let's go ahead and get this box open and I'll show you everything that this kit includes. So like I just mentioned, this whole kit is from Mooseology and let's go ahead and just get it opened up. So it's a nine piece kit for uh, the full interior. So you can see here, this is for the, um, like the climate controls. Up here, I think these are for like around the doors. Uh, over here, I think, again, for around the doors. Um, over here, around the window switch for the in the middle on the center console. Uh, not too sure what that one is, but we'll figure it out. But the two main pieces that I'm super excited for is the large center console shifter surrounded area, as well as the steering wheel bezel itself. So they do offer two different um, finishes for carbon fiber. It's a, a matte finish as well as a gloss finish. For this one, I have the gloss uh, finish here. So as you can see, it has obviously a gloss um, finish to it, but you could also get it in matte and they also offer it in silver. And I think it's cool that they do offer it in just a plain silver as well, because you could totally just paint over that silver whatever color you're looking for so instead of having to remove like your factory ones and then send those out to paint you could just send these actual pieces out to get professionally painted like color match to your vehicle or any other color that you want or if you wanted to get them hydro dipped and then you could just go ahead and stick these right on there without uh, potentially damaging like the tabs and everything with removing the factory ones and you could see it's just all installed here with the little supplied double-sided tape so Super simple to install, and uh, yeah, I think it's gonna look real sweet. Um, I know carbon fiber, kind of random for a Bronco, but um, yeah, when you see the plans for the Bronco that I have, it'll all really make sense. And um, this will definitely do until I decide if I wanna do a, a carbon fiber steering wheel or not, but I do plan on installing some carbon fiber fenders, so these are really gonna complement it really nice. So I'm gonna go ahead, get this all opened up, and we'll go ahead and get the in install done. All right, so let's go ahead and get the uh, steering wheel piece installed. Same process here. Just wanna go ahead and wipe this down with our uh, microfiber and our alcohol. 
then get you know to remove any sort of you know dirt or anything on there to uh, help with the adhesive a little bit better and then we just got to go ahead and peel all this tape off and it is a direct fit right over the top factory piece so let's go ahead and get it installed And there we have it. We got the steering wheel piece installed. Oh, it looks great. Um, but just a bit of advice is I would line up the bottom first. So kind of like, you know, push it and then kind of scoot it up so it goes underneath the horn button right here. And then you more or less just push it and it clicks like right into place. But as you can see, it is an absolute perfect fitment and I think it looks great. So let's go ahead and uh, get the rest of this installed and check out the final product. So we'll go ahead and get this uh, larger center console shifter area installed next. So what I did was I'm just gonna, or I did remove the little grab handle from here. Easy to do, it's just two torque bits. Um, remove that, that way it gives you a little bit of an easier um, angle to get this installed. So as you can see, it just slides right over the top of it. And then once that adhesive is removed, just go ahead and push it down into position. So again, wanna go ahead, get it cleaned up, and then go ahead and get this installed. Um, honestly, the hardest part of this whole install is just getting all this tape off there because it's so small. But uh, yeah, that's the most tedious part, the actual install of getting them on there, super simple. Okay, so now we got this piece installed. And as you can see, another perfect fit. I wanna go ahead and make sure everything is uh, pushed down and seated really nicely so there's no gaps anywhere. As you saw, I went ahead and installed the grab handle back on there. But yeah, uh, <laughs> it looks great. Now a lot of people will probably say, oh, it's cheesy or cheap or whatever, but hey, whatever. If you like it, go ahead and do it. Who gives? a crap what anyone else has to say and i think it looks great and for the price <laughs> very hard to beat so just a quick little glimpse right there the steering wheel with that and uh let's go ahead i'm gonna throw this piece on next and then complement it with this piece as well and i think the one piece that i said oh i don't really know what it's for i believe it's for the mirrors right here so let's go ahead get this installed those two pieces and uh, we'll see what it looks like after that. So on this piece, you wanna make sure you clean out in this little like um, finger pockets because it does actually curve and go in there. And just like that, everyone, after about 30 minutes of work, we're all done. So I'm gonna go ahead and give you a full walk around of the full nine piece gloss carbon fiber kit. So you can see right here, we got it on the front door uh, surrounding here. As you can see, it fits perfectly. You know, I've worked with some of these kits in the past where they don't fit great. There's like a little bit of overhang, but no, these fit absolutely flawlessly. Then we go up here to the steering wheel. Hopefully the camera is uh, picking this up, but there, there you can see it right there. I love this piece. Uh, I was mainly excited for this piece and for this piece down here, and they both turned out awesome. Again, fits absolutely perfect. Everything still works perfectly fine. The buttons, nothing's getting caught up. It looks great. Down here, you can see around 
the audio and the uh, climate control again fits perfectly doesn't interfere with any of the dials whatsoever then down here you can see this whole shifter surrounding center console fits all around here all perfectly around the grab handles nice gloss finish as well I love it then back over here window controls the mirror control so we got the other piece right there and then I'll go ahead got the back door piece as well and once again it flits or it fits absolutely perfectly just a quick uh, POV right here oh I love it I'm super happy with it I would pay the price of this kit just for the steering wheel and the center console surroundings because it's just it just looks great and I, I know this isn't gonna be for everyone but if you love carbon fiber and um, you know you're just looking for a quick inexpensive way to switch up the interior sprucing it up a little bit uh, this is it's awesome and honestly to get all the extra little trim pieces as well it's an added bonus in my opinion I didn't think I was gonna like all the other trim pieces as much as I would have liked these two main pieces here but I was pleasantly surprised with the quality and the fit so that's why I decided to go ahead and install everything and it's totally reversible so even if you got sick of this after a while you could definitely just peel this back up I'm sure if you use a little heat gun to get that uh, adhesive a little tacky you could go ahead and pull it right off but um, I love it I'm super happy with it a uh, very very simple installation it's much easier than having to you know remove all of this and finding someone to either overlay it in real carbon fiber which would probably cost a few thousand dollars or to get someone to hydro dip it this is definitely the no-brainer solution for less than 200 dollars for all of this yeah definitely guys go down to that description and uh into the description below go uh check out i have links for all of this products i'm also going to have a link to their actual storefront so you can go on there and look at all their other accessories that they have for Broncos but yeah guys that's gonna do it for this one pretty uh, quick video hope you guys liked it comment down below let me know what you think and uh, yeah guys I'll see you in the next one later